everyone. Welcome to Crest TV. Another week and another show. Uh, this one is special, though. This is, I'm, I'm excited about this, and you should be excited about this, too. If you've been sleeping in a darkened room all week and haven't heard the big news that broke the internet, is that Crestron have acquired the technology of One Beyond Incorporated. Uh, broke this week. I think it was Wednesday uh, we, uh, we broke the news and made the announcement. And uh, I spoke to uh, I spoke to Brad Hitzi, our uh, EVP of marketing. I said, "Can I get them on a show? Can we record it?" He said, "Yep, yeah, sure, we'll hook you up." So he's hooked me up with the CTO of One Beyond over in uh, Boston. Let me cross over and bring her in now. Uh, Ronnie Sivok, how are you doing from Boston? We're doing great. So good to be with you, Neil. It's really thrilled to be on um, the announcement. It was very exciting. We've okay. been working on this for a while, and it's nice to see it finally become public. It's so cool. I feel like some sort of exclusive uh, here. We should have exclusive all across the screen. This is this is great. Now, um, for those who don't know One Beyond, I mean, there's going to be people out there that know it and, and got. But for those people again that have been sleeping in that darkened room, can you give us the kind of uh, sort of quick edited highlights of where you come from and and what makes One Beyond special um, for for everyone watching? Sure, absolutely. So um, One Beyond's actually been in business for 20 years. But it's really in the last seven that we focused the company on this area that is now referred to as intelligent video, um, automated camera solutions, intelligent cameras. Um, it's uh, We started out by introducing an auto tracker camera that tracks a presenter okay. and built on top of that a broad line of technologies and intelligent cameras. So we have our auto tracker, which tracks a single presenter, the auto framer that can frame for a group of people. It identifies who's in the room and only shows you those people in the room, not a lot of blank space. And we have a multi-camera voice tracking solution, okay. uh, which can work in larger spaces and uh, will show you, you know, who in the room is speaking. So you get a close up view of the people you're interested in seeing in a meeting. And this has become ex exceptionally valuable now that we're all um, going into this hybrid um, work mode. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting, you know, we've all got a, the, the massive evacuation of the office with COVID and lockdown sort of two years ago, and we we're all forced to work at home and we were all forced to seeing this part of everybody. And then we go back to the office and then we have those long bowling room alley views from the camera down the table. This is this is what we're trying to solve and to, to bring that experience of, you know, having that torso view but from people sitting around a meeting room. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, now, the elephant in the room, uh, a lot of people on the internet, a lot of people questioning about, you know, is this going to replace our existing, you know, Jabra and Hudley portfolio? And I want to just make a point of just positioning this and, and how this is going to fit in. Um, this is an addition to what we're already doing. The, the, the Hudley solutions, the IQ, the L1 that, that fits into our portfolio and all the work we're doing with Jabra and the Panacast 50 at the moment, those allow Crestron to get into those repeatable, small, medium-sized rooms and have, you know, an element of in, uh, innovative camera switching and tracking in those rooms. But what, and again, spoiler alert, what we're going to see in a second, because we're going to do a live demo, is one beyond allowing us to get into those larger spaces, those more complex spaces, those high-value spaces, where you want multiple focus areas, multiple areas of interest, teacher, whiteboard, classroom, auditorium, and, 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 um, and that's what we're going to show. So I, I want to just draw that line in the sand and make sure there is no confusion. This is not a replacement, it is an addition. Again, I don't know, Ron, if you want to add anything to that or... Yes, no, absolutely. That's I, I think you you said that exactly right. So it's it's for rooms where you do want to have the multiple camera views, cameras around the room, so that you can show different lines of sight to people. Um, part of the idea when we get back into a meeting space is to have the ability um, to look at your coworker across the table um, and also see the remote participant there and have it so that they're not looking at the side of your head, but they're looking at yeah, the front kind of, of your head. Classic tennis shot, you know, <laughs> you're watching the tennis. <laughs> 
but I'd love to do a demo for you. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's just just frame this up. So I, obviously at the moment, all of this fancy stuff of me here on the left and Ronnie on the right and the ticker tape and the banner, I'm doing that on my computer in my kind of editing software. So we don't want it. There's no, nothing up my sleeves, no magic. I'm going to throw Ronnie up full screen um, and take away everything. So this is pure coming from the one beyond solution now so no no magic tricks no no hidden hidden trap right, doors and this or is look by no hands <laughs> yeah right? exactly so <laughs> i'm not running the control system here either um right and i happen to be in a room here with my colleague um kara um who you're going to notice that when she talks you're going to see her and we'll take it from there Thanks, Ronnie. Uh, what you'll notice here is when I start speaking, it's going to immediately switch to a camera that is showing a great shot of me, a nice clean cut. And Ronnie's going to move to another spot in the room and you'll see the same experience. Yeah, so now I'm back in the back of the room, which is the area we have set up in this room for um, presentations. And what you notice is not only did you get a nice clean cut to a different camera, um, but it happens to be a cut to our intelligent automated it, uh, presenter tracking camera, right? So you can see that as I walk around, the camera follows me. Doesn't matter if I have my back to the camera or to the front. And if I were to write something on the blackboard, you could actually see it. Mm. Just to give you a sense of comparison, um, if I were to um, turn off our technology, so this is the one time I will actually turn our technology off and, show you what the room were to look like if you were not using the one beyond technology. Now, this is a small to medium sized room. Imagine if the room were even larger, um, somebody towards the end, you really have kind of a hard time um, seeing my expression. So let's turn um, the automate solution back on again. And this is the difference, right? So you actually get to see me and um, see what I write on the board. And if Kara talks, Yep, so if I talk, uh, you'll notice that it'll switch over here to me. And then if Ronnie talks again. Yeah, so if I talk again, it comes back to me. And now we're gonna show a little bit more fancy stuff that we can do because we can offer different layouts. So um, we do have a side-by-side -side layout uh, where if an, a presenter and an audience member is talking, we would show them side by side. Exactly. So you can see here, uh, when I start talking, it's going to automatically switch to this custom layout, which shows both the person asking the question and the presenter, adding a little bit more context to the video call. And, and we can also, some of the other ways that people use that multi-view is in, in a picture in picture to show a wide shot of the room as well as the active speaker. A lot of people are asking us for the ability to not only see the active talker in a room, but also get the context in the room. Yeah, um, and, that, and again, just that was that was just just to frame that as well. So the what you saw there with the, the the background, the logo, and the graphics that wasn't coming from me. That was coming absolutely from the the One Beyond system uh, going into the the call control platform that we're using to uh, to record this call. So nothing being processed. That's actually what's coming out of the the, the system there. So the one thing I, I really like, and it's really impressive. I, I've got some some history with smart cameras, and we'll maybe talk about that in a second. But it is very very quick the switching. I remember you know, you always used to send systems out to customers and they'd sit in the room going, look at me, look at me, look at me. And the camera would take two or three or four seconds before it then would switch. And then you know, look at them move, look at me. It is really quick as you're sort of swaying or pacing around the room there. It is really quick um, to, to, yeah. to track you there. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, what Wambian has spent a lot of time, um, you know, trying to build, do, do, build a better mousetrap, right? That's yeah, what yeah. you get as an advantage come in um, maybe later in the game, you understand the deficiencies and you focus on how you can make the experience better. But a lot of what we've been working on is um, exactly that, is what should the pace of the, the switching be? You don't want a camera to switch if there's just noise in the room. You yep. only want to switch if somebody's actually talking. Um, so One Beyond has spent a lot of time thinking about that and building that intelligence in, into our system. I always say it's like having a it's like having a production crew in a box. <laughs> yeah, um, and why that's very important is because as we know, for example, in universities, um, they used to have a freelance videographer in the back of the room to track a professor. If you've only got one or two classrooms that need 
to have video, that's fine. But now you have 100 classrooms that need to have video. You're not going to hire 100 people to operate the camera. Similarly, in town hall meetings, when the president would give a, you know, the State of the Union to his workforce, you know, maybe once a quarter, they would hire in a whole production crew to stand in the back of the cafeteria and, and <laughs> do a live production, kind of like, you know, what, what you did at the beginning, right? But you can't have a production crew in every meeting space. Right. And now every space in your office is by definition a meeting space that will require bringing remote people in because we're all in this hybrid mode. So we're very excited about um, introducing what I think is, you know, setting a new bar for what is expected from a meeting space in terms of video conferencing and camera technology. And I'm thrilled to be doing it with Creston. Yeah, very cool. Now, don't go. I've got some questions. Um, so, I, so I did the first presentation to a customer this morning. The, the, the first question so for him, uh, how many how many cameras can we have in a room? <laughs> yep. So up to 12 cameras around wow. the room. And I think that's that anywhere makes... in the room. Yeah, well that, that leads on to the second point. So again, I, I have a little bit of history um, around sort of these smart cameras and, and such like, but they've always been at the front of the table, the front of the room, under the screen, above the screen, looking down. Um, what you're doing there in the room, again, there's lots of stuff going on there. And you, as you've mentioned, tw up to 12 cameras around there. So you can detach them. They don't have to be together. You can literally have one there, one there, one there you know looking at the audience looking at the, the lectern and, and break those out with the technology yeah exactly it's it's in, intended so that you really get the best line of sight to whoever it is in the room and where they happen to be looking in the room which allows people um you know to be looking at each other and also on, at the screen behind them with their the remote participants um that they're that are joining the meeting our goal and everybody's goal right now is going to be to make the experience as good for remote people as it is for the people in the meeting space and encourage people to not like run into their individual offices and open up their laptops, you know, to 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 join meetings so that everybody can see everybody. No, the people are in the office are going to want to meet in person with the people in the office and yet still be big on the frame for the people that are remote. That's why intelligent videos so critical right now and will be for yeah. for way the modern way of work yeah it's about meeting equity and again provide making sure that the person on the far end isn't like a second rate citizen or gets a lesser experience as if they uh, they weren't in the office so no absolutely love that and again i just want to pick up on on a point you talked through some of some of the technology so there's there's three types of technology um so we've got the camera framing so look for everyone in the room get rid of all that dead space and make sure that they're beautifully in shot so nine o'clock two people are in the room ten o'clock three three people four people it will to see them and, and pull out and then you were between you and Kyra you were actually switching so as, as you spoke and then it was switching so that you, again you pull in and, and pull out that conversation but then you're then doing also the the live bit for the people who are uh, the swayers the walkers the pacers um on stage that the, the, the camera is then tracking you I love that could you could you catch it out could you <laughs> no <laughs> so all of those technologies are there in the the, the one beyond uh, technology yeah yep that's it that's what we're bringing to crestron and we're thrilled to to um to be able to continue to to advance the technology sell to all of our current customers and then obviously um support all the new customers that are going to learn about this through crestron Fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for uh, for joining. Now, th again, this is just a teaser. This is just the uh, wet people's appetite and get them uh, excited. We're going to get you back on. We're going to go under the hood. We get all the products out and uh, and play on future shows. But again, thank you ever so much for joining us at short notice. Um, and again, our customers, our partners, and everyone at Crestron should be excited. And hopefully, we've shown that with just this short demo on the show here today. So, thank you, Ron. You know, feel comfortable to uh, contact one beyond for now and then we'll let you know to to learn more and we're off to a fun ride absolutely absolutely ronnie thank you ever so much for joining us on the show and thank you all for joining us. This is Crest TV. We do this every week. Where have you been? If you're not subscribed, you haven't hit the bell, rung the dinger and all that good stuff, tell your friends, uh, shout us out on Twitter and LinkedIn. Crest TV is the place to be every week and I will see you on next week's show. <laughs>